Hey folks, want to wrap up the ANOVA discussion with the two-way ANOVA with interaction. Again, we're looking at using STAT Plus for Mac and Excel. So I click on STAT Plus under statistics. I'm going to use ANOVA two-way. I'm going to grab the response variable. First thing I do, click in, grab response. Go over here, grab the response variable, and you'll notice that I've I've had to take the traditional um, two-way ANOVA as it's looked in statistics books and break it out by columns so it can be picked up. I'm going to select the first factor. Factor 1 is going to come from column A. It's going to be industry. Factor 2 is going to come, as we call it, city. Draw that down. Click anywhere in the gray space. Pops up. Advanced options, just to be sure. No interaction. We're not going to check it this time. We're going to leave it alone. Preferences, we're going to be at 5%. Once again, alpha at 5%. Click OK. And the resulting tables you'll see is quite a bit of information for us. But we're concerned about the very top. Pull that in. Let's copy that, bring it back to our original data sheet. Take a look at the results we have. You can see that we can look at all the interaction effects that are happening. But we're most concerned with the p-values. We can see that factor one, industry, has a p-value of 0.06, so it's not significant. There's no significant difference between the industries. Industry one, industry two, p-value for the city. Is there a difference in city? It's less than 0.5, so there is a significant difference between the two. And the interactive effect. Is there an interactive something interactive at play between city and industry? Its p-value is 0.25, which is bigger than 0.05, which means there is no significant effect when it comes to interaction.